In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the topic of determinants. The problem which we have here is again a proof question and it is somewhat different to the previous questions that we have done. Let's see what this question has to say and let's get started with the solution. So it is proof a determinant is what the value of the determinant is independent of theta. That means the value later on that you will get of the determinant will not have theta in it. That is what we need to prove. So how to do this type of question? It is a determinant of the order 3. You can see here it is 3 by 3 determinant. So that means this determinant will not have theta later on that we need to show. So let's write the heading as proof and let's get started with the proof. So it is proof and I have again three rows, three columns. It is your wish. You can start with any row. You can start with any column. Let's start with the standard one. Maybe it is, you know, standard according to me is first row. People may consider first column as standard. So let's write expansion or expanding about R1. Expansion about any row or any column does not change the answer. It will remain the same only, right? So it is x here, which is the first element. It will be plus. Next will be minus and it will be plus. You already know this. How and why we have seen in our previous videos. Now, x into something. So what is that? It is x multiplied by a subdeterminant. Some determinant will be obtained by eliminating the first row, first column. So this is first column, this is first row. It is minus x, 1, 1x. One so it is minus x, 1, 1x. One Next. Next is here sine theta. Now sine theta will be preceded by minus sine. It is minus sine theta. Again a subdeterminant. Second column eliminate. First row eliminate. Left is what? Minus sine theta 1 cos theta x. So it is minus sine theta 1 cos theta x. Next is what? Next is plus cos theta. So it is plus cos theta. Something again needs to be eliminated. What is it? It is the third column and the first row. What is left? Minus sine theta minus x cos theta 1. So it is minus sine theta minus x cos theta and 1. You can always go about checking the same values that you have copied it correctly or not. Now, next step is what? Next step is cross multiplication in all the three determinants that you have obtained. We started with a 3 by 3 determinant in the question. We have got 3 2 by 2 determinants, right? Now, x is outside. It will remain inside what happens. x into x is x square. It is minus x square because 1 x has minus. For the formula, you write minus and 1 into 1 is 1. Now, outside is minus sine theta. Keep writing it as it is. Inside what happens is minus sine theta into x becomes minus x sine theta minus of the formula cos theta into 1 is 1 cos theta or cos theta. Then plus cos theta is here. You have a bracket. What is minus sine theta into 1? It is minus sine theta. Then you have minus of the formula and you have cos theta into x but x also has minus so first of all make it plus and then x into cos theta is x cos theta so it is x into cos theta next you have something in the brackets and something outside you have to multiply so multiplying makes it what it is x into x square which is x cube outside should be minus then 1 into x is x again outside should be minus sin theta here, sin theta here with x minus minus is plus. So it is plus x sin square theta. Why? Because we have two sin thetas. Minus minus makes it plus. So it is plus sin theta into cos theta is sin theta cos theta. Till here we have done. Next step is what? Multiplying these two. It is sin theta into cos theta but with a negative sign. So it is minus sine theta cos theta. Then is what? It is x cos theta into cos theta. It is plus x cos square theta. So it is plus x cos square theta. Now see what is left. 
x cube is here with the negative sign there is no other x cube so you have to keep writing it as it is so it is minus x cube now x sin square theta is here x cos square theta is here okay sin theta cos theta is there minus sin theta cos theta is there so these two things cancel because one is plus one is minus now this is minus x you keep writing it as minus x this is plus x into something this is plus x into something take plus x common in the bracket what is left it is sin square theta you see here it is sin square theta and here is plus cos square theta now what is sin square theta plus cos square theta that is 1 you know the formula that sin square theta plus cos square theta is always 1 1 into x is x only so I have minus x cube minus x plus x into 1 which is plus x now what is minus x plus x these both cancel so these both cancel each other the answer that I have been left with is minus x cube now the answer I write here is minus x cube now this minus x cube does it have theta in it there is no theta and that is what we needed to prove that the answer is independent of theta that is what we mean by it we have an algebraic expression and no theta or no transformation in it.